Right, and then we're moving on to Musi Efrem Kalmerfalk, a member of the Swedish Parliament, Swedish Eritrean political scientist and legal advisor. So, Musi, are you there? I'm here. Good. We can hear you clear and loud. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Hello. Uh, my, my name is Musi Kalmerfalk Efrem, a political scientist and a lawyer. Uh, I'm a for, former politician here in this country, in Sweden. Uh, used to be. Uh, I've been working with um, international, the Swedish international aid interventions in different parts of our globe, particularly in Africa. Uh, most of the time in Somaliland, I know that you have some representatives from the Somaliland government on physically among you, uh, Sudan, Ethiopia, and Kenya. So uh, my, 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 my departure point is mostly a legal aspect on access to energy because it is stipulated in the, in the international um, law that access to energy is equal to uh, economical and social development because it has to do with fu fulfilling the most important stuff such as the where the right to education, the right to water, and so on. But if we look today how our globe and the access of energy is divided, is most of the energy is consumed in the richer part of our globe, not in Africa, particularly not in the Horn of Africa. Uh, Besides beside that, there is some attempts in the Horn of Africa, particularly in Ethiopia, uh, with the great Renaissance Dam of Ethiopia to distribute high energy, uh, uh, water-based energy to the rest of, uh, to, the, uh, to the most, to the, the most um, um, countries in the Horn of Africa. We will need, um, it, this is the picture which, uh, this picture shows that uh, the per capita, the use of energy uh, in, in the Horn of Africa, as you can see, in the Horn of Africa, it is most uh, white and grey, which means that uh, the access and the use is less than 1,000 uh, kilowatt per person. As I told you, there are an attempt uh, by some countries, particularly Ethiopia, and that has led to a lot of diplomatic rifts between Ethiopia and the new dam with uh, Sudan and Egypt. Besides that, uh, this will not fulfill the need for uh, of energy in our part of uh, Africa, because if we wanted to have an economical growth to fulfill, which is stipulated in the national and the international law, the right to access to clean water, the right to education, the right to health care, and so on. Uh, renewable energy is important as a complementary um, to uh, the attempts which is ongoing in our part of Africa. I will stay there. Thank you. Thank you.